this is Dr. Site Scout, and now we are going to take a look, quick look at what runs where, another top intelligence tool for display advertisers. As you can see, the home screen is pretty advanced, lots of options. You can search for banner ads or text ads. You can also see here that you can choose from a variety of ad networks and traffic sources. You can also choose several countries in which to conduct your research. Let's stick with a similar theme. We're going to take a look at car insurance. Going to pretend that we are a media buyer for a car insurance campaign. We're going to look at all the networks. We're going to keep it to 300 by 250 since that's what interests us. And let's take a look. So again, right away we see many of our competitors. Progressive, looking at all the countries, so we're seeing far more here than just U.S. campaigns. Captain Compare from Australia. Okay, Liberty Mutual. All right, so we get the idea. Now we can do the same thing for text ads. We'll just search for car insurance and see what we get. Once again, we have a variety of different creatives to look at. see some Canadian campaign examples. We can see Liberty Mutual, a bunch of comparison sites, and so on. Let's say we want to get some information on Geico, like in our last example. We do a search for them. We can see that there are three different landing pages that were found in the wild. This one probably looks like the one we want. Let's take a look. And here we have a profile for Geico. We can see that right off the bat, about a quarter of their traffic comes from Google AdWords. Three quarters of their traffic comes from media buys. In terms of placements, we can see the top placements. Top placements by duration in the wild. Here we can see that the ads have been running on insurance.families.com for over two years. That's interesting. We're going to look at that a little bit more in a second. We can also see the various ad servers that have been serving up the ads. SB Nation is a large sports blog website. OX probably stands for OpenX, so you can reasonably assume that it was a direct ad buy. You can look at traffic sources. You can sort it by the amount of days they have been running. You can see plenty of placements that have been running for well over a year here. These all probably do pretty well for Geico if they've been running them for that long. We can also see very verbose information about the amount of ad servers that are being used. All the various text ads. We can see here all the different variations on their ad copy. We can even see non-English ads, so very interesting stuff. Banner ads. Again, we can see a wide variety of banners. Many of them we saw in mixed rank as well, uh, which in a sense confirms that both services are pretty accurate. In terms of volume, there seems to be a bit more here. We can see flash banners as well. Again, a lot of these look familiar. We saw that one. We saw that one. We can also see the original versions of these flash banners. Right now they're non-animated. You can see the original versions. Looks great, catches the eye. This is all great inspiration for any creative team or media planning team. If they were using other landing pages, we would see them here. So this is all very interesting. Let's now look at some placement profiles. Insurance.families.com. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so we can see in the last 30 days, Top advertisers with roughly similar shares of traffic, Liberty Mutual, eSurance, Geico, Progressive. So basically, if we were in the auto insurance market, we would probably want to advertise on this site as well, just based on first glances. You can also see some more information about the types of ads that we'll be running, probably adjacent to ours. 
So if we have any concerns about brand safety or ideas about strategic placement, we could address them. We can see the top text ads in terms of how long they've been running, the percentage of traffic they receive, gives a good idea of which ones are probably performing the best. So this is all great. We can go down further. We can get a lot of verbose information about the types of ad servers that the advertisers and publishers are running, all the sources of traffic. You can see here, close to 95% of the ads are being shown by Google AdWords. And if we look at the most common ad types, it's almost the same percentage. So if we were to advertise on this site, chances are we'd probably have to run a text ad in order to get the most volume. So these are all great insights. Again, you can see that with the right tools, you can gather powerful intelligence within a matter of minutes.